Hi guys. Good morning. How's it going? How are you? Um, I just want to say it's an honor to talk to you guys. I've been watching you guys <laughs> my whole life, following your careers, and I'm a big fan. So, congratulations again on the film, and again, thank you for taking the time out to talk to me. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, so um, my first question is for Colin, and it's kind of a two pronged question. Um, what was it about Sam's story that drew you in and made you want to take on the role? But also, this isn't your first um, time playing a queer character but a lot has changed since Another Country and A Single Man. So I was wondering if I could also get your thoughts on uh, the continued progress of gay representation in cinema and what's it like just to, I guess, bear witness and be a part of it, especially since it's been, <laughs> you've been doing that since the early stages of your career, so. <laughs> um, well, the first, I mean, I, I, I try not to dwell too long on, the, on either question, but the first one, um, uh, it was, I, I thought I was gonna play Tusker uh, and I felt actually an increasing feeling that I could see Stanley as Tusker. And uh, I felt I didn't want to cheat the movie out of that because I thought it would be wonderful. In fact, I visualized it pretty much accurately, I think, even what we, the result. So that's a, that's a long story, but we, we switched roles and Stan felt the same about it. And um, eventually the director felt the same and here we are. Um, <laughs> Yes, I, it's a, uh, gosh, I mean, I, I, we could spend hours trying to yeah. count the history or progress of, of um, uh, representation of, of LGBTQ representation in cinema or, or anywhere. Um, I think, I mean, obviously there have been changes since I started out in this profession in the early eighties, mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's still ongoing. Um, I still think we have to keep our, our ears um, open to um, how people in the LGBTQ community feel about their representation and how they want to be represented. And um, I think it's, you know, it's our responsibility to be sensitive to uh, whether there are times we should step out of it, mm -hmm. you know, um, there are, whether there are times where um, we feel that there's something we really can offer, um, whether we're gay or straight or, you know, but, um, so I, I'm, I'm hypersensitive to it. I, to the point where, you know, I, but I always am. I mean, when every time I take on a role, I always feel I don't really have the right, you know, I'm, I'm trying to take a step into someone else's experience. I always feel what the hell do I know? You know, who do you think you are? Um, <laughs> And I just hope, so to me, the you know, that's where the challenge lies, is I, I just hope that if I put enough thought into it and enough empathy and I'm brave enough and I keep my, you know, and those are things I don't always live up to, but if I keep that pursuit going, that maybe I'll find something that resonates with, with people whose, you know, whose lives I might be representing. Well, I thought you brought Sam's story to life beautifully, so <laughs> I loved it. Thank you. And uh, Stanley, it's the same question for you. What about Tusker's story did you love most? And what are your thoughts on the continued progress of gay representation, especially since, you know, you've also played queer characters. Nigel from <laughs> Devil Wears Prada is an icon. And I feel like uh, you you and Colin, the community really took to you, you guys a lot. And like there's headlines around saying that you guys are the only two straight actors who are allowed to play gay characters. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is very incredibly flattering. Yeah, we were, I felt very lucky. Uh, I think the greatest compliment uh, for me was after the Devil Wears Prada, when um, uh, gay friends or you know gay men would walk up to me on the street and say, "Thank you, you know, for mm -hmm. for doing it that way, for you know, representing us in that way," mm -hmm. and and that was the best compliment you could have because any role you do, you just want to do it well. Um, you want to be truthful and you don't ever want it to be a sort of send up or a mockery or, a, or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, I, I think the thing, the thing that attracted me to the, to, to the film was the beautiful script and, and um, Harry's realization on paper of, of a beautiful, loving relationship. Now, the story could have been told you know, with a heterosexual relationship. But what I loved about this was that it wasn't and that sexuality was of no consequence. There was only love that was of consequence. 
and that mm. is profound, then loss is of consequence. And what I think the movie shows is that it, it makes great strides, I think, hopefully in the way that everybody thinks about love, which is, it's just love. It doesn't mm. matter who, who it is, who it's between, gay, straight, whatever. Um, and our sorrows are the same. And our pain is the same as well. So, you know, in this tiny little film, I think Harry sends a pretty big message. Like I mentioned before, it was beautifully done. And I wish I could see more of the two of you. I wish it had worked out for Sam and Tusker. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe sometime in the future, maybe you guys can collaborate again and give us a happy ending. <laughs> <Did that be? laughs> well, you never know. Yeah. Well, that's all the time I have left, but thank you guys so much again. Thank <laughs> you for having me.